So Jacob got the job out in Oklahoma and that meant that he's got to move all of his stuff. So we decided epic road trip. And uh, so we're starting here, um, Grand Canyon National. Well, actually, no, we're outside of the Grand Canyon yeah. National Park. We are in Kendrick Park, Arizona, just outside Flagstaff. And uh, yeah, it's really freaking cold. So we're going to try and make this intro a little quick. <laughs> um, but the cars we're using is... What is this, Jake? This is my 2018 Volkswagen GTI with the six-speed manual. Um, it is a four-door, unfortunately, but you know, what can you do when you're buying used cars? And it is the wrong color, but it, yes. And it has the stock exhaust, which is unacceptable. And it's got the wrong wheels. There's a lot that needs to be done to it, so uh, stay tuned because it'll be on on video. And the vehicle I chose is uh, this one. Um, and if it looks familiar, that's because it is. It's my F-150 and I've got tools and stuff and whatnot of Jake's in the back and I've got a little bit of a Carolina squat going on here, but... Uh, hey, so if we break down, you think we got enough tools? I think we have plenty of tools, Jake. <laughs> if something happens. You want to talk crap on my Carolina squat? Look at your car. Yeah, mine, yeah. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> I mean, no, 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 no. That's like called fitment. Yeah, yeah. Fitment. Yeah. That, that, it, it's yeah. Cool. It's when cool we get lowering cool. springs for it, that's what it's like a preview. What it's, yeah. Look at the front. It looks disgusting. The front looks terrible. The yeah. back, and eh, not not so bad. <laughs> but anyway, let's hit the road. Yeah. I'm hungry. Fuck! It's cold out here. Yeah, you can see I am loaded down with stuff like the, the back window there oh my god ah the sun ah ah i can't see point question mark ah he's going too slow he's only worth one this one's got a high visibility jacket that's got to be worth four points no he's easier to see oh wait he's on an electric scooter he'd be harder to hit so yeah about five Go now. So we've been on the road now about, I don't know, maybe two hours. Yeah, about two hours. Um, and in Flagstaff, my tire light came on. Um, we just think it was cold this morning, but it is really driving me nuts having a morning light on my dash. So hopefully it goes away soon because it's driving my OCD nuts. Alright, so we had to make a quick pit stop real quick. Jacob's tire light came on and he wants to check some stuff out, so we stopped at this little side of the wall freaking stop here of this meteor crater kind of thing and uh, it's kind of expensive to get in to go see it, but I'll see if I can find some images online and show you just exactly what this is, but uh, I find it freaking hilarious that that thing traveled God knows how many millions of millions and millions of light years to hit this spot and it just missed that building by what 50 feet like if I was in that fast. building I would have bought a lottery ticket a long time ago oh seriously anyway shall we get going uh, yeah, let's see. Okay. yeah fun interesting fact about that meteor um, they're estimating that it was about 30 to 50 meters in in diameter when it hit and uh, since we're Americans and we'll use anything but the metric system that's about two that's about two blue whales yeah it displaced 1.75 million cubic meters of earth when it impacted I mean 30 your mom but nobody talked about her like that <laughs> That's your grandmother you're talking about there. You show some damn respect.
Carolina corner in Winslow, Arizona. Such a fine sight to see. It's a girl, my lord, in a flatbed Ford. Slow it down, take a look at it. So we are currently stopped in Gallup, New Mexico uh, for a really good reason. Jake's last name is Gallup and he wants to use his ID here thinking that ooh, cashier's gonna be royalty or something. So let's go see how that works out. So you're just gonna like buy a tall can or something? Or? I wasn't gonna do it here. Not here? I guess we could. Why? Are we in Gallup proper? We are in Gallup oh. proper, yes. Where's he at? In the bathroom. Oh. Sounds disgusting. It does. We can say you bought it for him as a present. <laughs> okay. You turned 16 too, so you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll be out the car today. <laughs> <laughs> Did not even care? <laughs> so, so, so Jake, yeah. since, since it was disappointing and he didn't check your ID to see your name match the name of the town that you were in, I felt that you were really sad. And I know that you're going to let Ryan take over driving from here on out. And I know how boring New Mexico is from here to pretty much Texas. So I got you a little present to occupy your time while you're riding shotgun. Sweet! <laughs> oh, dude! You can doodle on stuff and... Yeah! Right I'm gonna draw a dick. <laughs> Absolutely. So since you're turning 16 soon and you're driving, we got you, you know, it's a rite of passage to drive after um, consuming some of this. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Ryan's first time driving stick on a public road. He's so <laughs> off. Dude. I'm not used to this at all. It's a lot more to pay attention to, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gets me more involved. We're about to go, I'd put it in gear. Watch the sil let the Silverado go. And then go after it. Well, not bad, get in the middle. Pretty good, pretty good. Almost cut off the Hyundai. This feels so weird. You can stay in second. Yeah. That's what I think it's gonna be a long. I'm a race car driver now. God, you race car driver. Living a life of luxury all of a sudden. Did you or did you not lose the present I bought you? I don't know yet because I can't recall if I put it in the back of the car. I will be rather upset if you lost that thing because I put quite a bit of thought into that. It took me a good long 30 seconds to figure out what to get you inside of that store. And I would be damned if you lost that thing. What? toy now. <laughs> Try smoother, I can't draw it right. Landon, how are you gonna let a Chevrolet have better tarp skills than you? That thing's not flat. Look at that! Look at the difference! <laughs> well, 
Brandon fixes his tarp issue, we're over here exploring old gas stations and totally not taking the piss. No, that would be irresponsible. We wouldn't do that. I mean, look at look at look at what the tarp flapping in the wind. Like it, it hits my truck, it gets warm, and then it just melts off onto the paint. So like at least it comes off easily, but jeez. Ah, uh, wish this thing would have stayed. Oh well. So we got 435 miles of range, and home is 475 miles away. Do we slow down and try and increase the range to get home? Or do we just floor it and have fun? Keeping in mind I'm paying for all of the fuel on this trip. Hmm. This guy's right in the back. So holy is this guy. So we just crossed into Texas after spending what felt like an eternity in New Mexico. And there goes Jacob. He's, he is ripping past me. Take it back, baby. <laughs> but uh, it's getting dark out there. We wanted to stop off at the Cadillac Ranch in Amarillo, but I don't think we're going to make it before it gets dark. So we'll stop in Amarillo for a splash and go, and then we'll be on our way back into Oklahoma. So, we'll, we'll see you then. Hey, yo, DJ. We got ourselves a nodder. Well, for better or for worse, we are in Oklahoma. I guess I should say home now, which is weird to think about. Uh, so I'm going to let Ryan take over now and we'll be home before we know it. There ain't no leaning, small town ceiling. You can't even drive your own car. And I'm homestead uh, we got back in late last night it was dark the cameras were, weren't really picking up anything but yeah Jacob's GTI did well my f-150 did amazing which reminds me that I need to do something I, oh, oh, I love you so much. Ah, she did so good so good um, this was the longest trip I've taken in this F-150 and she didn't miss a beat and oh, I'm just I'm so happy and Jacob's car did great although he has bits of my tarp <laughs> that <laughs> got destroyed stuck in his grill <laughs> yeah. the tarp was more of a precautionary thing I just didn't want anything of his to get wet and we hit like absolutely no rain whatsoever but uh, yeah Ryan did good Jacob did all right. The cars did great. I watch it. Yeah, we should empty him out. Uh, go run to Harbor Freight, get what that what it is that you need, and let's give these babies a much deserved bath. <laughs> 